Guys, it happened uh, just after 3 o'clock on what was a very warm Sunday afternoon. Great day to be walking. 14-year-old victim and her 12-year-old female cousin were walking from that Valero eastbound here behind me on North Road, which is Route 140, and that's when the truck struck. Jesse Pinsons, whose attorney said he had gotten his life together, is now facing six charges, including manslaughter and negligent homicide with a motor vehicle. This is a horrible, horrible accident. East Windsor 911 with location of your emergency. Um, I'm on 91 North at near exit 45, and there's a truck that's... Um Swerving, driving erratically. And moments later, here along North Road in East Windsor, tragedy as a 14 year old high school freshman walking eastbound was struck and killed allegedly by Pinsons. And cops say he told them he was texting when he hit her. And the investigation led them to call in a drug recognition expert. So it was not sufficient evidence to charge him with operating under the influence, but that he had. Uh, medical conditions. He was supposed to be wearing glasses while driving and wasn't, according to police. And then there were other issues that also could have affected Pinson's, which police would not delve into, but they discovered more. We've discovered reports um, in the area in the past week or so of his call, his vehicle being. Um, called in as an erratic driver. That previous call four days before this deadly incident. The police were never able to locate him at the time to ascertain what the problem was. Now there is a GoFundMe out there in memory of the 14 year old victim uh, who we're not naming yet because we do not yet have clearance from her parents or the police. So out of respect, uh, she will remain unnamed, but certainly remembered and in our prayers as her family will be. We're live here in East Windsor. I'm Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News. A heartbreaking story, Tony. Thank you very much.